If you can't keep up with the many probes going on surrounding the 2016 campaign, alleged Russia collusion, and alleged misbehavior by intel agencies, you're not alone. Cheryl Ackeson sat down with Republican Congressman Jim Jordan, who serves on two of the half-dozen bodies conducting investigations, and asked him to break it down. How can this story be told in a simple way for Americans who have been hearing fringe discussion about it but yeah, haven't followed it closely? Yeah. I like to tell it through um, Peter Strzok, uh, deputy head of counterintelligence, former deputy head of counterintelligence at the FBI. Peter Stroke and another FBI official, Lisa Page, were allegedly having an illicit affair during the 2016 campaign when they exchanged bitter anti-Trump text messages, even as Stroke led investigations that stood to impact the election. Peter Strzok, who said in one of those text messages, we can't run the risk that the American people might uh, make Donald Trump the next president. We need an insurance policy. And that insurance policy plan, we've learned from some of these other text messages, I think involved leaking information to the press to further their narrative against the Trump uh, candidacy. Notably, Stroke led the FBI probe into Hillary Clinton's mishandling of classified email, interviewed Clinton without recording her, and softened a key phrase in the FBI decision to recommend no criminal charges. Stroke also led the investigation into alleged Russian meddling in the election. Stroke interviewed Trump official Michael Flynn, who pled guilty to lying to the FBI. And Stroke served on special counsel Robert Mueller's team, investigating alleged Trump-Russia collusion. Jordan says more key questions surround the anti-Trump file, or dossier, leaked to the press before the election. We've learned it wasn't an intelligence file at all, but opposition research compiled by a political firm. Did the FBI improperly use that to justify spying on Trump associates for political reasons? I believe the FBI dressed it all up, made it look like legitimate intelligence, took it to the FISA court to get warrants to spy on Americans associated with the Trump campaign. And through that spying, I think they got other names that were unmasked. How much has our knowledge been advanced in regarding the Russia, the surveillance issue? Hillary Clinton email investigation, Trump investigation. Um, we know the DNC paid for the dossier. The Democratic National Committee. Yep, uh, Democrat National Committee and the Clinton campaign, which we now know, of course, were one and the same. Um, they paid for it. We know that there was at least what appears to be some group of people at the FBI, based on the text messages, that was this core group that um, looks like they set out uh, to have a plan to hurt the Trump campaign, help the Clinton campaign? None of this necessarily excludes the Trump administration or related officials from misconduct. No. So what are you finding on that score? Nothing, right? I mean, to date, there's been zero evidence that, that the Trump campaign coordinated any kind of activity with, with Russia to impact the election. Maybe not, but several former Trump campaign officials have been charged with other crimes. Paul Manafort and Rick Gates are accused of money laundering and conspiracy stemming from their lobbying work for Russian interests dating back years. They've pled not guilty. George Papadopoulos and Lieutenant General Michael Flynn have pled guilty to making false statements to the FBI. Could Mueller be finding things that nobody's heard of that hasn't leaked out? We don't know. We'll have to wait for his, his report. Um, we're going to get a report, I think, even before his from the Inspector General, which will examine how the FBI handled the Clinton investigation in 15 and 2015 and 2016. It turns out FBI official Peter Stroke figures into that, too. On January 19th, the FBI gave Congress a new batch of text messages between Stroke and his girlfriend that indicates some in the FBI made investigative decisions for political reasons. It's going to be a Clinton-Trump race, texted Page. Unbelievable. What, replied Stroke? Now the pressure really starts to finish mid-year exam, the FBI case name for Clinton email investigation. Page replied, it sure does. The texts also reveal the FBI first included but later omitted news that as Secretary of State, Clinton improperly used personal email to contact President Obama while abroad in the territory of sophisticated adversaries. In the big picture, why do these questions matter? If someone were to say to you, I don't know who all those people are that you are talking because, about. Because you cannot have 
the, the Federal Bureau of Investigation trying to help one campaign at the expense of the other. You, th that cannot happen in the greatest country in history where, you, th where you're having the premier law enforcement agency in the world saying we're going to have an insurance policy to make sure one candidate does not become president of the United States. That is for we the people to decide, the American voters to decide, not some, some super agent James Bond guy at the, at, the, at the FBI named Peter Strzok and his cabal of people. Th that is never supposed to be how it works in the United States of America. A footnote. Late last week, the FBI released new excerpts of the missing exchanges between Stroke and Page that touch on the Hillary Clinton email investigation and how much muscle should be put into the effort. One quote, she might be our next president. The last thing you need us going in there loaded for bear. Neither Stroke nor Page have been accused of wrongdoing. Stroke was reassigned to HR in July. Page's assignment to the probe ended before the special counsel became aware of these texts.